Kentucky Branch Library and today we're going to be learning how to make Oliver Clay miniature books. These are so cute and so easy to make. I was so surprised. They're very very small. You can make them any size that you'd like. I'll go ahead and list all the supplies that you'll need and let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with the white polymer clay and you want to go ahead and roll that out to about a quarter of an inch thick. These are going to be for the book pages. So you want them a thicker than the actual cover. I'm using black polymer clay for the cover, but you can use any color that you like. And um, I'm using a plastic rolling pin. I don't think a wood one would work too well, but you can try it and see if that's all you have on hand. I'm also rolling on the table, which is a little bumpy. And so I'm showing you, you can also just uh, roll on a smooth surface. And um, I did like the way it looked. It kind of made it look um, antique, um, but whatever you prefer. Now on the black part, I am laying down the uh, front page and the back page. So that way I get a uh, the exact shape of it and I'm cutting around it. You can use a knife. This happened to come in a little toolkit that um, is, came with the little rolling pin and uh, the little plastic square thing to roll it out. And what I'm looking now is I am looking to make sure that the cover of the book looks good and that it is going to uh, be the perfect size for what I'm looking for. You can have the book cover the entire part of the, the I'm sorry, the book cover cover the entire book or you can have it cover just the middle part which is kind of what I was going for. Now I'm just taking um, the back page and I'm cutting, measuring and cutting around it uh, with the white clay that's going to be inside the books and you'll see it's a little bit thicker and I'm just kind of getting it to a perfect little square. And the trick is you don't want to mix the colors. You want to try to keep them separate. So try to get it really good inside the, the spine of the book the first time because otherwise the books, the colors will start mixing and then it will kind of look funny. So, and you might have to start over. So right now I'm just trying to make sure that the book pages are long enough and, or that the book cover, front and back cover, are big enough, big enough for the book pages. So I'm not satisfied with the exact shape so I'm going back and just cutting a little bit to make sure it looks good and putting it back in there until I'm satisfied. And it will kind of be a measuring and uh, retrying the first couple of times. Now I'm taking this all, um, you can use a toothpick, whatever you might have on hand. And this is what I'm going to use to make a little hole. So that way the little um, eye pin can fit in there to hold a necklace. Or in this case, I'm going to make earrings. And you can get this at any store, any craft store. I believe these came from Walmart and it comes with a bunch of little ones. And as well as the, the kit and the polymer clay, see that's what they look like. And they're just little metal things. If it's too long, you wanna make sure when you put it in, it doesn't poke out the bottom. Um, but if it's too long, you wanna make sure that it is, um, that you do cut it with a wire cutter or scissors can cut it and you want to make sure that um, it only goes to the end and then you're going to bake those in there uh, for on in the oven for 275 for 15 minutes you can just bake them on a cookie sheet uh, they don't stick so it's great and then once they're baked then you take the front and back cover and I'm taking Mod Podge and I'm just going to put a little Mod Podge on the inside of the front cover and then stick it on and then the inside of the back cover you want to let that dry really well make sure to smooth out any wrinkles it goes on pretty well and then once that's dry on both sides then you want to go ahead and put a layer of mod podge on all over the entire book even the um the bottom where the eye eye pin goes in just to give it a nice um, it'll give it a nice glossy sheen and it'll protect the book as well
And that's it. Pretty simple. Thank you for watching. Take care.